Hello everyone and welcome to a little long play video. Today we are going to be building a mushroom cottage in my 1.20 Minecraft world, which I'm so excited to get into. And this video will be perfect to play in the background if you need a little bit of company. We're just going to have casual commentary throughout and then lots of building. But first things first, we need to start gathering some materials for this little mushroom cottage. So we're going to need a bit of birch and then also some spruce, not very much, just a little bit. And then lots of dark oak, though I don't have any dark oak, but we are going to be building this inside of the dark oak forest. So I think we'll be able to get plenty there while we are in the dark oak forest. I have built this in a creative world, so I kind of have an idea of how this is going to look. I haven't finished the build completely, of course, but I have just kind of sketched it out. So I do know what blocks I need and things like that. Okay, we are also going to need some detail blocks. Let's gather some chests, probably. We'll do some lanterns and some flower pots. I have a little list right here of all the things that I'm going to need for the build. So I am referring to my little list. Um, let's grab, grab just a bit of moss so we can make some mossy variants. Um, and then maybe just a little bit more stone bricks, honestly. We have plenty of stone. That's definitely not a problem. And then maybe some leaves, but I might shear some leaves there. Let's grab some shears. Um, go ahead and make another pair. What else? We need flowers. Oh, I wanted to get torch flowers. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, let's do some white wool for the spots on the mushroom. We're going to do a mushroom roof, I'm thinking. And then last but not least, let's gather some campfires. Do I have any pre-built? Does not look like it. Oh, I do need glass too. Hopefully we aren't going to go back and forth a thousand times to my base and then where I'm going to build. Hopefully I can kind of just gather everything in one go. Okay, campfire. I think I just need one, honestly. Because I want to have a little chimney, so I think just one is fine. Right? Anything else that we need? We have, maybe we'll need to get a little bit more birch. And then obviously we'll need some dark oak, but we'll get that once we get to the dark oak forest. Um leaves i have torch flowers so we'll need to get those and then maybe a little bit of red wool so let's start gathering all of those things and we'll start with planting some birch saplings grab some bones for the bone meal so i figured that i would build this build in my 1.20 minecraft let's play world just because usually whenever I do a long play series, I will create a brand new world for it. And that's always fun and everything, but you do have to build a very simple house since it is a brand new world and you can't do blocks like mushroom because you need silk touch for it. So I figured that I could just build it in this world and then that way I'll also have an extra build in this world too, which is pretty cool. So I think that I might start doing that little long plays in this world. Um, I made a little caving long play before uh, and that was a lot of fun. So I was able to, you know, just chill, have a nice cozy time caving, but also get stuff done that I needed to get done in this world. Kind of a win-win situation. But up here we have my auto wool farm, which I think that I need to uh, add some shears to the auto wool farm because I'm pretty sure all the shears have broken pretty much 
Yes, it looks like it for the most part. Okay, perfect. We have lots of red wool. Maybe we'll just grab that much. And then also torch flowers. And I should have some extra torch flower seeds in here so we can replant them. And in my latest 1.20 video, I collected every single horse variant in Minecraft. And here's my little chart here to show every horse variant. That was definitely a fun time for sure. I haven't uploaded that video yet, um, but by the time that you watch this, that video will already be up. So that's why we have literally so many horses here in the little animal pen. And then so many horses too, just around on the hill because I had a lot of extra horses and I don't really know what to do with them, honestly. I didn't want to just, you know, dispose of them because I don't know, I felt bad doing that. Maybe I should not feel bad for little pix pixel creatures, but I do. Okay, torch flowers. That's what we are getting right now. Also, maybe I should, you know, not just leave my inner chest here just in case if I forget where I place it. So over this way, we have all of the torch flowers and I'm going to go ahead and replant them. And maybe we can start to put some extra torch flower seeds inside of the garden shop. I think that kind of makes sense. And I think last but not least, we just need to start to chop down a few more birch trees. I'd rather have more birch than I need than have to stop in the middle of my build and continue to farm for more birch. That's always the most annoying thing whenever you have to interrupt your building flow to gather more materials. It just kind of ruins it, you know? Do a quick sleep and then continue to farm more birch. Whenever I first started playing Minecraft, birch was my favorite wood type, actually. I loved to build with it. I'm not sure why, but I just loved me a good birch. Now, not so much, but I definitely don't like hate birch or anything. I feel like lately I have been building with birch a little bit more though. We have almost three stacks. Maybe we should aim for four stacks of birch.
Having unlimited bone meal is so nice. I have a little skeleton spawner farm. And you don't realize how nice it is to have unlimited bone meal until you don't. And then you get to wait for everything to grow. Okay, I think that we about have four stacks. Okay, that should be enough, I believe. Anything else that we need, I hope not, because again, I don't want to have to come back here if I can help it. We do need to come back here after I'm done with the actual build and we go into the interior. I'm not going to worry about gathering everything for the interior until later. And here comes a little rain. Honestly, I don't even mind the rain that much whenever I have shaders on. I don't know, it's kind of cozy. going to clear out my inventory a little bit. Before we go on over to the Dark Oak Forest. think that we are good to go. So the fastest way to get over there is actually through the nether. I have like a tiny little starter nether highway thing set up. It's There's no ice roads or it's not decorated, nothing fancy like that. But I do have a faster way to get over there. I think that I would also like to do a little pumpkin cottage or something like that too. Just, you know, giving into all of the fall vibes. Hence why we are doing the mushroom cottage. And we go down this way. There is a bow that I threw on the ground that I do not need. And I'm just hoping it's going to despawn. I do want to make this hallway super pretty at some point. Oh, we have uh, hoglins. Okay, that's a great time. <laughs> See, I do need to like actually properly finish this place. Um, clearly. Okay, I think we're I think we're clear. But I do want to make that place pretty. I want to have maybe like I don't know, I want to do bright colors. I think that would be cool because it's the nether. I'm just going to throw these pork chops and the leather in this chest. I know I'm awful. And then <laughs> do you see my little gold chest plate? I need to come up with some kind of like trash can situation. Um, because I just have so many things from that skeleton farm that I don't need and I don't really care about. Okay, we are in the Dark Oak Forest now, clearly. And I think, oh, obviously we're going to have to gather some red mushroom too. There's going to be all kinds of mobs here, aren't there? Okay, but what I was thinking is that... We can kind of go to a place in the Dark Oak Forest that I'm not going to build and just tear down a bunch of mushrooms. Ooh, looks like we had a little forest fire over here. And then I can do the same with the Dark Oak too. Oh, wow. 
Look, this is like all burnt down. I'm going to take this little guy out because I want to fight the dragon soon. Hello. I want to fight the dragon soon and I'm trying to... Oh yeah, it's raining. So he's going to teleport away a bunch. Oh, and there's a creeper. You know, this is the ultimate cozy long play, obviously. There's two creepers. Love that. Well, I don't know where that Enderman went. Anyways, I do want to fight the dragon soon. So I'm trying to slowly gather Ender Pearl so I don't have to do it all at one time. So maybe kind of over here by the river, we can start to tear down some mushrooms and such. So here we go. This is so exciting. Oh, wait. Oh, this is so much faster. I have silk touch on my axe. Oh, wow. That's so fast. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I've never built with red mushroom before, believe it or not. So this is a very exciting experience for me. I did not mean to break that. Is it nighttime yet? No. But we'll go ahead and chop down some of the dark oak trees as well while we are here. Honestly, I'm loving these rainy vibes. Kind of fits the theme of the video, I think. Even the spooky little mobs. I am actually one who doesn't really love Halloween that much. I am a scaredy cat, for sure. I don't like horror movies. They're too scary for me. Um, I don't really like spooky books or anything like that. So Halloween has never really been my favorite, unfortunately. But I do love the fall vibes for sure, and I can appreciate the aesthetic of Halloween, even if I don't really like it that much myself. Okay, I do think it's nighttime now, right? It's always so hard to tell. Yeah, it's definitely nighttime. It's always so hard to tell whenever it's raining, if it's nighttime or not. And then the rain is going to stop as well. Make sure that we don't have anything sneak up on us. I'm a little bit scared of that. I do get jump scared so easily in Minecraft. Ooh, I should have grabbed more potatoes. That is one thing that I probably should have done. I just didn't really think about it. Wow, there's just like insta mines. I didn't realize that it mined it so quickly. I don't really know how much red mushroom block we're going to need. Or how much dark oak. Isn't that just so satisfying? And look at the water. I changed the water texture and the water color in the, um, what is it called? My shader pack. Um, and I like it so much better than the realistic looking water. I kind of like the more Minecraft texture to it. A 
maybe we can use the mushroom stem for something too. Originally, I was thinking about using mushroom stem for the wall, but I just think that that would take a long time to farm. So I don't think we'll do that. Okay, I also want to get some leaves and I was thinking of doing dark oak leaves. So maybe we can share these. Maybe we can chop down one more mushroom and then I'm thinking that we're going to need a few more, maybe like, mm, to be safe, another two stacks of dark oak. Again, I really, if I can help it, I really don't want to stop my building grind. I was thinking about putting a little bit of music in the background of my long play videos, especially if there's like a long point of silence, just some cozy, relaxing music, maybe lo-fi, I'm not sure, or just maybe, I don't know, some more like piano-esque music. Let me know what you think. Like for example, if I'm just mining trees or building and I don't talk for a while, then we can kind of go on to a little bit of music and just the typical Minecraft sounds. I might do that in this video. I'm not sure. We'll see. I guess you will find out once we're watching the video. But let me know what you think about that just to make the experience a little bit more enjoyable overall. Look at this cute pond. I love that. It's so cozy just right here in the middle of the dark oak forest. Ooh, I kind of like this area. Wait, I already had an area picked out for the mushroom cottage, but it's kind of cozy right here. Maybe, just maybe? I don't know. Is that a an azalea tree? It is. I know that there is indeed a lush cave underneath the dark oak forest. I have been down there before. I don't really want to have a pond in the background necessarily of the build because I want to have, I want it to be like tucked into the forest, you know, but I do kind of like this area. Hmm. I don't know. We'll keep that in mind, but I might not, I might not build there. Okay. Let me focus and actually start really chopping some trees instead of walking around in the forest. Definitely enough dark oak for sure. And let's chop down one more mushroom. I'm not going to do it by the pond because the pond is so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. And then I think we'll start building. Very exciting. trying to find just a mushroom kind of off by itself. Mm, we'll just do this one. Okay, and let's go ahead and find a place to set this build. I was thinking kind of over there by the skeleton spawner. Ooh, let's go ahead and maybe get a few more leaves too while we're at it.
All right, off we go to find places Seth has built. to find where the skeleton spawner is and then I want to go from there just so that I can easily get to this build just in case if I want to. And I have no idea where it is. We didn't go that far, did we? I think that if I can find the ocean then I should be able to find my way. Oh, wow. Oh, look, the lush cave. That's pretty. But if I find the ocean, I should be able to, I don't know, figure out where I am. Ooh, look at all these mushrooms right here. There's like four. Okay, I think this is the base that way. And I think if we go this way, then that is where the skeleton spawner is. Oh, it's right here. Right by my cherry boat that I still have yet to clear out. All right, I was thinking, so, ooh, look at that giant brown mushroom. So tall. I was thinking somewhere over here, maybe. Again, I really want the backdrop of this build to be lots of dark oak forest behind it. And we are going to have to clear out a pretty, not large, this is not a big build by any means, but uh, we do need to clear out lots of space for it. Hmm. Where should we place this? I don't want it to be too close to the skeleton spawner because honestly that little bubble column is kind of ugly. Ooh, what about here? It's kind of open. And we can always replant some trees if need be. Okay, I think we'll do it right here. So we'll go ahead and start placing down a little area for us. Oh, and I guess it is nighttime. Hello, pig. I'm glad I brought extra chests because I definitely think we're going to use them and we'll just go ahead and kind of store the rest of our junk in there as well okay let's get busy clearing out i guess we're going to get so much more dark oak by clearing out this area i didn't really think about that probably didn't need to collect as much as we did but that's okay I'll definitely use it at some point. I kind of want to go, I mentioned this before in my 1.20 Let's Play, but I kind of want to do like a tree gathering marathon where I just gather so much wood so that I have like a full double chest of each kind of wood or something so that, I don't know, whenever I build a project, I don't have to gather materials every single time and I'll be kind of set for a while. How long would it take to gather a double chest of every type of wood? I feel like that would take so long, but wouldn't that feel so nice? I feel like it would. It's so nice to have so much available materials.
I always find that you need to clear out a bigger area than you think you do because with the roof and everything, the leaves are going to get kind of annoying if we are constantly bumping into dark oak trees. Like this area seems pretty big, but I don't think it's big enough. Though I do really like the dense trees over here. So maybe we'll get rid of this one. Again, we can always come back and replant more trees if need be. It looks like we have an azalea tree over here too. That's super cool. And this is so close to, so there's a ruined portal here that I did go ahead and go into. So that's cool that that is right there. Uh, we're really not that far away from our base, honestly. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of this one as well. Last but not least, this one. Okay, maybe this will be enough space. We're gonna have to uh, work on that little like birch thing right there because it's kind of ugly i need to get myself a good hoe i don't even i i've even made a diamond hoe i just kind of forgot about it now let's go ahead and start building this so like i said i did start to do this in a creative world so i definitely have an idea of like i have the dimensions and stuff and like what the roof is going to look like so I have the build pulled up on my second monitor right now. So I'm going to be referring to it throughout this process. So where should we start this? Maybe here. And then we'll have a section of three. I think a section of, I'm counting on the second monitor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That doesn't sound right, but maybe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's see if we like that placement. That means that the door would be right here. No, it definitely needs to be over, doesn't it? Well, let's try this again. We'll just move everything over. I love how the animals have joined me for this build. We have a little cow and a little pig. Okay, maybe we start it over here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, the door would be here. I think that's a better place for the front door. Yeah, I like that better. And then this, one, two, three, and then this, or rather this one. Let me just double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think that is a good start. And then we'll do seven on the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just pretty much connect it from there. It's not a very big build, but I think it'll still be cute and cozy. Look how dark it is over here. I love this, honestly. Like, it's, it's just so cozy. This little spot is just so cozy. I wanna like curl up and read right there. Okay, that is our blueprint for the build. Pretty simple, honestly. Let's go ahead and start with these pillars. I think four, so one, two, three, four on each of these. This is where the, the tree is going to get in the way. I don't think I have a hoe with me. Come 
Come on, birch tree, get out of there. I think it should pretty much decay on its own now. And then this one over here, I think is going to be one higher. So two, three, four, five. Let me just double count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's five. Two, three, four, five. It's coming along. I am going to come in here with some stripped birch just to add a bit of variety. But I think right now, since I'm just kind of sketching it out, I am just going to use regular planks. And now that I think about it, I think I want to do a, um, a stony base. Let's go ahead and texture it, I guess, while we're at it. Um, and then I want to do some mossy. So over here, we'll have that stony base. Probably should have blueprinted this in the stone. I just kind of didn't think about it until now. And then on this side, we won't have that stony base. Okay, something kind of like this. And then we'll have a little porch thing here too. I actually did not mean to cut the perfect number of stairs. It just happened. Okay, like that. Is it sleep time yet? No, I don't think so. Now, we are going to have a little window here. And then over here, we'll do another little window. It'll look cute, I promise, once we get in and detail it. Now, I haven't really planned anything on the sides and back, so I don't really know what kind of windows I want to do and such. Ooh, it is nighttime. That snuck up on me so fast. No. Hmm. Maybe windows like that. Okay, cute. I think that will work. And then maybe we can do no window on this back side, just so that we don't have windows on all sides of the walls. Ooh, see that looks kind of funky, so maybe we don't do that. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly even, right? Like, we can have a bit of quirkiness to this. It is a mushroom cottage, so I'm fine if it's not, like, perfectly even. Now on this side, what kind of windows shall we do? Maybe we put one here. And then one like this. Okay, we'll do that.
Now, last but not least, these windows. Maybe we do a different kind of window over here. I have scaffolding, I need to go get it. Uh, but maybe we do like a wider window and we can make it into a kind of a bay window. I will need to get some glass blocks for that. And I did not bring any, just glass panes. But maybe like this, we'll kind of see how that works whenever we get the roof in and such. If it looks kind of wonky, then we can always remove it. All right, now to start getting in the roof trim. Hello, Cal, what do you think about the cottage so far? I think he seems to like it. Now for the roof, we're going to be using a bunch of dark oak, particularly slabs, lots of slabs. Um, we'll just start with this. We will texture it a bit more, but right now, let's just kind of outline it in the slabs and then we can come in and do some texturing. So this roof shape is a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done anything quite like it before. Scaffolding right here. something kind of like this here comes the rain I am down for the rain honestly right now go a little bit more up slabs are so tricky for me okay and then now we go up one more and we'll do three across and then I think maybe we can start to go back down from there. Let's just see what happens. works you see what I mean how it's a little bit quirkier like I don't want it to just be a perfect little peak or a little like I don't know a little curve or anything I just want it to be a little bit more free-flowing so I think this will work and then once we get on this back layer I wanted to kind of step one up from the front layer Just so that we have a nice little trim on this. Let's go down one more time, see how it looks. Okay, I think that will look good. It looks kind of wonky right now, but um, we're going to have faith and trust the process, and I think that it'll work. Now, the trick is to try to copy the same thing on the back, which will be a little bit interesting, but hopefully we can figure something out and hopefully we don't have any anything sneaking up on us see this tree is a little bit close but I kind of like it back here I want this how is it on this side 
goes one down. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to have to go back and forth to see how I did it on this side. And then we do a three across and it's one up like this. And then we go one down. I'm a little bit scared that something is gonna sneak up behind me. From the down, we go one up. And then I think we kind of just keep on going one up until we get to the center. Oh, there's a creeper. Not today, creeper. I'm just very spooked. Just a little bit spooked. Um, I need to get a slab right here. Slab placing is so tricky. Maybe it would help if I did like temporary blocks or something, but I didn't really think about that. From here, we're going to go flat and then we'll start to go up. I think. Mm. We'll go up one and then another. One and then there we go. I think we have successfully copied it to the backside now. Is it nighttime yet? No. I feel like it's coming kind of soon. Now from here, we just have to do that little step up thing that we did on the front side. Is this the same on both sides? Did I do it the same? I didn't. I made a mistake somewhere. I make a mistake. Hmm. Oh, that one should be one up, I think. Like it should be here instead? Question mark. Is that what I did on this side? Yep, I did. Okay, well, let's try this again. All part of the building process. Building takes time. Definitely takes time for sure. And then I think that's when we go two over, right? We step up. Oh, we step up and then we go directly to over. Okay. And then we go up one from here. And then... I think we keep on going up, right? Like this? Hmm. I feel like that's wrong. And I think it's nighttime, right? This is definitely nighttime. Yes, it is. I do enjoy the rain sometimes, but now it's so peaceful without it. So it's flat for two, goes up one, and then flat for three. Flat for two, up one, then flat for three. I think that's right. I think that, is this side wrong too? Did I mess up both sides? I did. 
Wow, so sad. So this needs to be in line with this one. It's wonky, but that's how it is. Now if we can just get in here and kind of clean it up some. Okay, I think that we did it. skeleton. I wonder where he's at. Right there. Oh, he's gonna like shoot me off of here. Okay, got him. Now, it should be good. I think it should be good. Okay. We'll just fill this little bit in. And then now to do this side, which I think I just kind of want to continue the curve a little bit. How this build is just kind of curvy, but it's going to be less wonky and it's just going to kind of go straight over. I think like this. And then maybe we do this again. Something like that. Just go one higher than this part though, which I think will be a bit of an issue. It looks cute though, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty good. Maybe we just do it like this. Oh, it did not mean to fall. Roofs are always so tricky, but I've been trying to do different kinds of roofs. I feel like I just kind of stick to the same thing. And I wanted to just make some more like curvy roofs. I kind of tried to do that in the Hobbit hole that I recently built. I tried to make it just a little bit more curvy. Um, and I think that I did it pretty good, but I just wanted to play with some more curves, I guess, rather than just points and such. Okay, I think this is looking good, I think. And now, this will look so much better whenever we detail it. I'm not too worried about this. I think it's going to look a lot better. I know right now it looks like the build has a giant forehead. That's what it reminds me of at least. All right, let's go ahead and start adding on this mushroom roof. So exciting. Eat a little potato first though. I'm about to switch over to golden carrots because I do have some farmers who trade me golden carrots. So after I'm done with these potatoes, I think it's time for the trade. All right, so first time building with mushroom, exciting time indeed. I don't really know exactly what I am doing, but that's okay. We will figure it out. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know how that's going to... This might have to become mushroom through here. I don't know. We're just going to place blocks and see what happens. And then I 
think we'll use some dirt as some temporary blocks. I'm gonna go up from here. And I will texture it later. With some wool and then the white dots. And then we'll shape it here soon once I get it all in. Ooh, do I want it to go up that far? Yes, I think I do. Oh no, and because these are mushrooms, if you have to break it, then it like shows the, like the mushroom underside, I guess. Do I want this part to go up? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just want it to go over. Maybe this needs to start going down. Oh yeah, this mines so fast. Now for these corner bits, I think I want to kind of shave them in a little bit. And then maybe we can get some trap doors to place here. Or this kind of needs to be this, I think. Oh my goodness, so sorry my dog is, she's, she's dreaming, wait one second. Anyways, the joys of doing a long play, we get those little bits into the video. Um, okay, I was thinking something kind of like this, maybe we can do trapdoors just just to add a different texture in there. I don't really like this part. You know, like it just looks kind of funky. Yeah, definitely don't like that. Maybe we just get rid of this. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like we should kind of just go up from here. Oh my gosh, this mines so fast. I'm trying to just tap it the best I can. Just a little tap. Maybe something more like that. So we don't really have the corners like I was thinking originally. Now I just have to copy it on both sides successfully. Kind of like that. I think so. All right. And then over here, I wanted to do, I don't know. I don't know if I wanted to go up three like this. I, let's look at the front. Let's just evaluate, see what it's looking like. We'll get some trap or some um, scaffolding in here. Yeah, see, I feel like it peaks up too much right there. But it's kind of cute. It's it's getting there for sure. But do you see what I mean by it peaking up too much? Like, what if that's flat? Just because I feel like mushrooms are like the little red mushrooms, they're flat on top. They have like a little bit of curve and then they're flat. See something more like that? Okay. What do we think? It kind of looks like a little strawberry house, doesn't it? Okay, I think that this part, hmm, what do I think? I don't know what I think. This is not equal. 
Let's go to sleep first, though. I just want the mushroom part to kind of copy the trim a little bit more. If that makes sense. So this part goes down. Okay, let's look at it again after I got rid of that one block. I definitely don't think it looks bad. I think it's kind of cute. Maybe we just leave it. And then if we need to come back in here, once we have the details and kind of fix the shaping a little bit, then we can definitely do that. But now to start and texture this roof a little bit more. I wanted to do lots of trap doors, I think. Oh, I was like, where did they go? Right there. I think that we can kind of replace some of these, some of these slabs with trap doors. There's like a little trick that you can do, but I don't think it'll work on this one. It only works on some of them, not like that. It might not work right here at all, actually. Maybe this way. I think whenever it's like a full block like this one is, then it doesn't really work. Maybe we can, I don't know. I'm trying a thing and I know what I'm trying to do. I just don't know how to achieve it. See like that, it kind of like replaces a slab but it just adds a bit of extra texture. Can I do it on this one? See, I can't because then it doesn't like meet this one. So that one doesn't work. I wonder if this one would. That kind of works, right? Okay. I don't think that one would. So close, but not quite. Anyways, I think we'll just leave it how we had it. A tiny bit of texture right just a little bit I guess we'll copy that same thing on the back so we have it on the end and then we have it next from the end on this side I can just add some trapdoors again just to like add any extra little bits that we can. Be that same little roof thing that we did back here. And then over on this side. Okay. 
Okay, I think it's looking kind of cute. I think. Should we do this? Honestly, I think we should kind of just flatten that area out a little bit so it's less... Oh wait, why is that side different? Do I need this block here? I don't think so. Okay, just like that. And then here, I was thinking that we kind of copy the same roof shape and just bring it down. I want to do a dark oak door. Probably should get some torches in here. I guess nothing's really going to spawn though, is it? Not with me right here. And this is definitely not looking exactly like the one I built in creative, but that's okay. As long as it still turns out cute, then that is, that is just fine. Look at this hole. Oh, there's an Enderman. Wait, should we get him? Do you think that's the Enderman from earlier? Um, hello, Enderman. Come on. I don't have all day. They always get stuck. I swear this happens like every time. Oh, there he is. And then he poofs away. I do see some glow like in here. That I kind of want to get. Oh, come on. I don't really want to shoot you with my bow. Because I have looting. Oh, he's right there. Here, let me make you a cute little platform. There you can- there you go, you can go right here. There you go. Oh boy, this is taking so long. My goodness. We better have- okay, we got what? I was like, we better have gotten some ender pearls from that. That took so long. Ooh, spooky cave. Anyways, that was a major distraction, wasn't it? I did not mean to get so distracted. Though I do hear a zombie. Okay, what was I even doing? Oh my goodness. I got so distracted. Oh wait, I want to um, texture the roof. We'll have to do that. Let's make some little fences. And then we'll put them here. Maybe we'll replace these with a solid block. So it kind of connects a bit better. Oh, and I do have some of those solid blocks. I'm at the stage in the building process where the inventory is getting pretty full. All right, let's go ahead and maybe get some of these windows in. And then I need to get some full glass blocks so I can place them here in the middle and it'll look like a cute little bay window.
We'll put some like little flower boxes here and we'll just like put some flower pots on them. I want Minecraft so, so badly to add window boxes to the game. I wonder if they ever will, cause that would be so cute. Actually, I think I wanna do some shutters on this side. Yeah, I think that's cute. Mm, I was wondering if I should put shutters anywhere else. I don't really like how there's no space in between the shutter and then the pillar, so we won't put shutters there. Um, but let's go ahead and grab those torch flowers. And then we'll place torch flowers in front of the windows. I always forget about these new plants. So again, I'm just trying to do like lots of different blocks here. And then maybe we can put a lantern on some of the window sills. Like a lantern can go there. And then maybe we can have another lantern here. These leaves are connecting and it's bothering me. Okay, it's coming together, isn't it? It's looking really cute. We definitely have a bit more to do for sure, but it is coming together. Now, I want to just kind of fix the bottoms a little bit, but what should we like better? Honestly, do we like this better or the dark oak trap doors? I kind of like the spruce. I don't like how it is the same as the little window sills that I did, but I think it looks better. Just to have a different color there. takes a bunch of trapdoors. And I wonder if Minecraft will ever add a woodcutter to the game. I don't think that's like beyond them, right? Because they do have a stone cutter. So I feel like a woodcutter could be a possibility, right? I don't know, maybe. I could see it happening. All right, let's go ahead and get in here and start texturing these walls. So we'll just do this. And I think it will just make it look a lot better. Also, the mob vote. What do we think about the mob vote? Whenever I upload this video, at least when I have it planned to be uploaded, it is literally Minecraft Live. So by the time you're watching this, you probably already know what mob won. But I honestly, I feel like this is one of the hardest mob votes that I have been a part of, um, that I have voted in. I don't know why. I think, I thought like, it's cool that they are doing actual animals, but usually they do some kind of made up fantastical animal. Um, and I honestly think I kind of like that more. I don't know, not that this is boring, but they're a little bit boring, I think super cute and I want all of them in the game, but I don't know. I just like whenever there's like brand new things that we've never seen before, like a sniffer. But maybe if this has something to do with 1.21, maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe updating some new biomes or something like that. Ooh, I need more birch. But I don't know what I'm going to vote for. I have yet to decide. It's currently the 8th, and I have yet to decide. I have a, I have a few more days to decide. I was originally thinking like, oh, I'm so team armadillo. I want wolf armor so bad. Um, but now 
I don't know. I was thinking maybe pink one because it's just so cute. I don't really care too much about the faster boats, but I do think the pink one is pretty cute. All right, it is coming together. Are we like pretty much done with the outside? Oh, I wanna add some gates. But what I was thinking about the armadillo and the wolf armor, which I think is super cool, but, sorry, I am doing too many things at once and my brain cannot multitask very well. Let's make some gates first. We need like one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. But the wolf armor, I've played with a mod that adds wolf armor to the game. And I just think... Like, whenever I use the wolf armor, I use it for a little bit of time, but I just stopped using it because it's kind of tedious to bring your dog everywhere you go. It's kind of fun at first, but then you're like, okay, like, it's just taking too much of my time to get my dog out of the boat, make sure it's following me, so on and so forth. So I don't even know if I would actually use it. I feel like I would use it for a little bit and then I would kind of just forget about it. All right, it is, it's looking pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and start sprinkling some bushes around. And to do so, I might get rid of some of the trap doors. literally like exactly the same. Let's change it up a little bit. And kind of sprinkle them maybe around the trees. is cool but are we actually going to use that new tool i don't know for me i feel like it'd be kind of cool to have a block that allows you to mine one block further what do we think about that like for example whenever i'm cutting trees i feel like it'd be so handy to just mine one block further i don't know instead of just like building one block further I just feel like I'm never like, oh, I wish I could reach one block further, you know? What else do I need? I think I need some stairs. And we'll do some kind of little step down situation here. Maybe maybe sprinkle in just a little bit of mossy. And maybe down here on this bottom floor, we can do a spruce floor instead. Okay, 
kind of cute. I don't like how you can see this one block poking out. So maybe we can replace it with full blocks like that. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, we have to do a chimney and then I can't forget to come in in texture. So let's go ahead and start on that chimney. We're going to need a few more trap doors, just one actually. And what else? I'm going to need these two blocks and then the cobblestone and I think that's it. And we'll just place it here, I think. I'll come back in here and texture later. Again, I want this chimney to be a little bit wonky. I see stars, that means it's nighttime. Yeah, look at it, it's kind of cute. We'll do that and then let's get in here and finally texture so when you do the little polka dots oh i didn't fix this side like i did over here hmm I did say that we might come back in here and reshape, and I feel like we might do that. Okay, let's go get some more red mushroom. We do have more. Perfect. I collected plenty of materials, which is exciting. I'm glad that I, I did that. I was able to gather as much as I needed. Honestly, does that kind of fix it a little bit? Why is this so wonky? I don't know, but it is. So we have two layers of dark oak and then it goes straight into the three. Ah. Okay, right now I think it is even. Maybe I will go ahead and build up these corners though. Since this side slopes down at a harsher angle than this side. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with these polka dots. And then we'll go back and look at it and see what we think. Oh, skeleton. They just come out of nowhere, don't they? I hate when they're like underneath you like that. red wool I don't know just so that we don't have the same block up here the whole time the same red block Okay, 
what do we think? Let's step back. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cozy. It looks like a little grandma's house or something. Yeah, I like it. Isn't it kind of cute? Okay, cool. Now, we pretty much, we of course need to add a pathway. Try to get the scaffolding. We need to add a pathway that goes to nowhere, but you just can't have a build without a pathway. And then work on the inside. For the, I didn't mean to just mine that with my hand. For the inside, I think the red is cool, but is it kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say tacky, but it's a little much with all the texturing. Maybe we can add a little trim just to kind of fade into that roof because, I mean, this is a mushroom house. Like, this person is living in a mushroom, so it's okay if it looks a little bit crazy, right? But maybe we can just do... Know, a little trim do these need to be here yes that does need to be there okay good to know good to know How can we hide that a little bit more? Maybe we can do a full block here. And then I was thinking maybe we could do like a pillar across the top. Kind of like this. And then for these blocks, would this look better if this was a full block? Maybe. I don't know. Kind of. Okay, we'll do like this. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. What about a little thing here? Okay, I'm just like adding random things at this point, but it's fine. All right, I guess we need to start working on the interior. I wonder if I have like, we're probably going to have to go back to our base to get a few things, but maybe, maybe we will have some things to get us started. I would like to do some kind of little fireplace somewhere. I think that would be so cute. And we do have a chimney. It's not going to be functional at all, but I don't know, or just like, I, I want a cauldron in like a little cooking pot or something. I think that'd be really cute. There is not a lot of space in here, but maybe we can place it here and maybe we can get a little bit of brick. Though I don't really have much clay. So let's go ahead and just dump a lot of this stuff in my chest. Let me go ahead and pause and make a quick list of things that I'm going to need for my base um, because I will totally forget and I'll come back and then I will have forgotten everything. So let me make a list real fast. All right, list has been made. Let's, oh, little enchanted spider it seems like. But let's go ahead and go to the lush cave for a quick visit to get some clay. I'm always so scared that I'm gonna die somehow there. It's happened before, I feel like. So the Lush Cave is right here, luckily. So I guess let's go up here. 
to gather the clay. Ooh, wait. Wouldn't glowberries be so cute inside of the mushroom cottage? Maybe we'll do that. And I might as well grab some extra clay because I feel like I always need clay. Oh, I almost fell down there. That would be so bad. Also, let me light it up so you all can see. Ooh. I don't want to fall in that lava. Are here so let's get this little bit of gold now we will head back to the base hook up this clay and collect everything on my little grocery list if you will This, it's so pretty. I really want to build with amethyst. Let me add coarse dirt to my list as well because I think that would look really good on the outside. I'm always creating little lists whenever I'm doing Minecraft projects and I have like a journal where I write down all of my video ideas and um, I write all my material lists on that in, in that journal and I'll have like a little entry for every this bow will not despawn probably because I keep on picking it up. Um, but then I for like each entry I'll do the material list and then of course what we're doing in that video, the order of events just to kind of organize everything. It is nighttime and I don't have my bed. We'll just go on over to the storage room because there is a bed in there. No zombie, leave me alone. I have the bed hiding underneath this carpet here because I just thought that I didn't want a random bed just setting my storage room. So, you know, it gets the job done. Ooh, and I can bring some potatoes too that are in here oh yeah and we have to cook up oh wait i don't want to put all of the clay balls in there but we'll just cook up all of these and this auto smelter is literally the best thing ever though i do want to make an automatic lava farm here soon just so that um i don't have to worry about fueling it and i can just do lava instead but we'll just put lots of coal back here. That I don't have to worry about it. Literally, this thing is so nice. I'm so happy with it. I don't know why it always takes me so long to make a little auto smelter, but it does. And also the frame rate with shaders on in my base is not great, unfortunately. Now, what shall we get first? We need a little bit of glass. I literally need two pieces. Um, I have bookshelves on my list. So we're going to need some of those. I do have barrels on the list as well. Oh wait, I don't have a furnace on the list, but let's go ahead and get that. I want to make a cauldron. And we'll do some chains. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use the chains for, but we'll definitely use one for the cauldron. Ooh, I don't know if I'll ever use that hanging sign, but we'll go ahead and bring it just in case. What if we do use it? And then for the bed, I think it could be cool to do a red bed. And we have red wool over at our work area. 
and I want to do white carpet. I know we have, I know we have white wool over there, but let's grab just a little bit more just in case. Uh, we need a campfire. Because maybe we'll use it for underneath the cauldron, I'm not sure. I'll just bring that coal and we'll make it back at our work area. What else do we need? I was thinking about doing some little pots. You know, I think that could be kind of cute. And then, oh, they don't stack. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but I did not know that. Okay, let's gather some more flowers, I think. Maybe we'll do some Lily of the Valley. I think that's always a good option. And then maybe some saplings, but we have some back over there. What else? Ooh, a little bamboo. That could be cute. I wish you could put more things inside of pots, like a little sugar cane. Wouldn't that be so cute? And then coarse dirt. Ooh, we need some more coarse dirt, it looks like. Maybe we'll do some rooted dirt, you know, switch it up a little bit. And then I think that's it besides the bricks and then the bookshelves. Do I have things to make bookshelves? We have a little bit of leather. And then... I don't know if I have paper anywhere. Oh, wait. Right there. How many books can we make with this? Seven. So that's two bookshelves. I think I want more than two bookshelves. So let's go on over to the sugarcane farm. Right on over here, our beautiful sugarcane farm and bamboo farm, actually. I have a little bit of bamboo going. Uh, but let's just grab a stack of sugarcane. It's not great, honestly. Um, I feel like in order, I literally only have two pieces of bamboo in there, but it grows so fast. Um, but I feel like in order to have a really good sugarcane farm, you have to have so many little automatic ones. All right, that is a lot better, I think. And I think I wanna put the books and the paper inside of here, and maybe we'll put the sugarcane there as well. Um, even though that is over there, it's fine. It's fine. We don't have to be super organized or anything. And I don't think that I have any shirts. I don't. Okay, I think we're pretty much done other than these bricks. Um, but that should be enough bricks, right? Yeah, that should be plenty. I don't think really... Mm, you know, maybe we should bring it a few extra just in case. Oh wait, we have some right here. Okay, that will be good. Let's go ahead and head back. I hope that I got everything. Oh my gosh, why is there a skeleton trying to shoot me? I'm just trying to walk around my base. Down this way. Avoid the bow. Okay, we didn't pick it up good. Oh, leave me alone. I know I don't have gold on, leave me alone. And up we go. Oh, I just closed the gate by accident. And from here, we can easily get to our mushroom cottage. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm so happy with it. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and try to work on this cauldron setup thing. So we'll make a campfire. I don't know if we will use one, but I'm going to try to incorporate it, it, it in somehow. So I was thinking that we could replace this with brick here. And then I was thinking about doing the campfire there with the cauldron hanging. Maybe like that. Hmm. And then that means we would have to build some kind of thing around. And then maybe we can make some brick walls. Do we only need two? And then these will be better as stairs. And what if we did like this? So it looks like it's, you know, going out the wall instead of the ceiling. I don't know if it actually looks like that, but we'll just pretend that that is what is happening. Okay, is it super practical? Not really. It doesn't really make super, a, a large amount of sense, honestly. Well, that's okay, this is Minecraft. I was thinking that we could do a little mantle like this. And then we could like place things on the mantle. And then the campfire goes there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that's kind of cute, right? Maybe the little like chimney thing looks a little bit nubby. But like just look past it and I think it's kind of cute. And then what if we put like eh? I'm not sure. We'll put something there and it'll be cute. Alright, now for a counter. We need some kind of counter right here. And this is what I mean by the bay window. Isn't that cute? I like that. So, counter. What shall we do? Honestly, I always like doing just like a little wood counter. Or we can place it the other way. No, I kind of like that, honestly. Okay, we'll do it like that. And then we have some barrels that I kind of like to use as cabinets. Hello? Um, maybe we can put a chest in that corner. And then I do want to get some more barrels. Ooh, it is night time or maybe we could put a pot in the corner i have an idea do we have flower pots left oh we do good 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 and then we'll put a little torch flower inventory is getting pretty full again so over here we're going to have our pot with the flower pot on top. We'll do that little trick like this. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we should strip that. And then to kind of like set up the counters, maybe we could put like trap doors and then we can put this little thing here maybe we could have a little like open shelf Ooh, Does it say an open shelf there and then we could like place another flower pot hmm 
Hmm. I don't know. I was going to put like trapdoors like this. Okay, maybe we'll do like this and then it's like a little shelf. It's kind of cute. We'll put a little bamboo in it. Pillagers? What do you mean we have pillagers? Do we have a lot of them? Or is it just you? Where's your friends? I hope that you didn't bring all your friends over here. Okay, little kitchen situation. Kind of like it, kind of cozy. And then we'll do a bed. And then we need to do the bookshelves. Oh yeah, we can do the chisel bookshelves. I don't have any books for it, but it's kind of cute still. So I was thinking this could kind of be the little bedroom. I don't know why I set my spawn there, but apparently I did. Um, and then we could do little bookshelves there. And maybe another one. Oh wait, we have so many. Bookshelves everywhere. I don't like that actually. Kind of a little step situation. That's kind of fun. And then we could do like a chest. Maybe here, we do a lantern on the other one. A little lantern here. And then maybe to encase this in, we could do some trapdoors. Okay, it's kind of cute, isn't it? I'm kind of liking it. Let's do a white rug because mushroom vibes right there in front of the fireplace so cozy and then maybe just a little baby rug right there we'll have a barrel nightstand actually let's kind of reorder this maybe maybe we put the bed here and then barrel nightstand here I don't know if that like really did anything, but okay, we'll do that. Um, I think we need some shelves on the walls. A little bit of shelvage, maybe above the windows too. Maybe. Oh wait, that noise is lovely. I love that. You can put another one here. Actually, I don't know. Maybe another one here. We're just kind of sprinkling things around a little bit, just seeing what works and what doesn't. We'll put a bookshelf there. Kind of scary, if I'm being honest. with you know the bed being right there but it's fine right i don't know if i like these shelves in front or on top of the windows maybe we just do that Ooh, i would love to get some like little curtains in here wouldn't that be so cute and some art oh wait we definitely need to get some item frames so we can add some art to the walls and then I feel like we need a little bit of lighting in here. It's not even though. Let's just see what it looks like. If we have a lantern. Okay, we'll do that. I like it. Ooh, we need a crafting table. Somewhere. Oh yeah, we'll just put it there. And then obviously we have to put something on top of the crafting table. A flower pot, clearly. What other little plant do we have? We 
We did dark oak sapling. It'd be cute to do a little mushroom. Okay, what are we thinking about this interior? I think the last thing we need is some wall art. And then like, guys, I think we're about done. Let's add this little, this little pathway. Um, unfortunately, I don't, oh, I do have a bit of dirt. I just wanted to fill this area in a little bit. And again, this pathway is going to kind of be going to nowhere. Maybe we'll have it going out this way, like to the skeleton spawner. Even though that it's not really, I'm not going to make it go all the way over there. It's kind of just for looks, honestly. And then to do a bit of texturing, we'll add the rooted dirt. And I do like to kind of pull that texturing around the build too. Oh, is it nighttime? No, it's not. It's just, it's so dark over there. It feels like nighttime. Ooh, wait, maybe we should add like a little garden in the front too. I did that with the hobbit hole. I added like a little carrot garden. Just peeking around the trees, making sure nothing's gonna sneak up on me. But it was so cute. So maybe we could do like a little garden. I have recently started reading The Lord of the Rings. I've never watched it or read it before, but I've been wanting to read it and I'm not very far in at all, but so far it's just like a cozy little time. Like we're just meeting some of the little hobbits and it's just a grand old time. I'm really enjoying myself. And I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to, you know, just cozily enjoy the book. Oh. Okay. It's coming together. Maybe we should add like a little flower pot outside something kind of like that we'll sprinkle some will, will it fall okay no it's not affected by gravity interesting oh and that's my last piece of rooted dirt sad day and then maybe we can sprinkle some little stones around I want to add a little mailbox. So we need to make a barrel. Oh, nighttime. It's looking so cute. I'm so happy with it. Just a little baby mailbox like this. Okay, what else? So I was thinking about doing a little field. I was thinking just like a little baby one right there or even like around the side of it. That could be fun. And then some art. So we need a hoe and some water buckets, some kind of crop, some item frames, and then stuff to put inside of the item frames. 
I think I can remember all of that without writing it down. Oh wait, I'm putting this all in the crafting table. Um, and now that I think about it, I didn't put a furnace inside. Don't you think I should have some kind of like furnace? I feel like I should. Okay, there we go. I think that works. Wait, I have an idea. What if we make the floor into furnaces? Like, yes, it's it's practical. Do I care? Not really, but you know, it's kind of like a little mantle or a little like whatever that is called situation. We'll do that. All right, back to the base. Eventually, I should probably make this skeleton spotter entrance cute. Now is not the time, but I probably should. Let's see if that little piglin is still there. Yes, he is. Leave me alone. So, item frame? Things to put inside of the item frames. What else? Some kind of plant, some kind of uh, crop. That's what they're called. Maybe we can do, mm, I was gonna say beetroots, but maybe not just because there's a lot of red in this build, but maybe also. And there's not a lot of red in the build. I don't know, I think it'd be nice to have a pop of color. Honestly, I'm, I'm leaning towards just like carrots or something, just like we did with the hobbit hole. So that, we need like a hoe um, and some water. And look at me never using my pathways. I just, I never do it. I should, I really should. Uh, okay, item frames. Where's the leather? Did I use it all? I probably did. I think I actually have some leather up by my barn. I want to make a proper leather farm. I'm thinking like a hoglin one because, you know, cows are cute and we want to protect the cows. So maybe like a little hoglin leather farm. Because I feel like I'm always needing leather. That is like one thing that you just can't have enough of in Minecraft, especially with all the bookshelves that I like to use for decorating and item frames. Yeah, I think I have, yes, 57, wow. And look, we get to witness a sploot. Oh wait, did he get interrupted? Did his sploot get interrupted? Okay, maybe he'll do it again. He's doing his, he's on pursuit. There he goes, no one interrupt him, please. There we go, thank you so much. Oh, hello, sorry. I like to use item frames instead of pictures, like the paintings that are in Minecraft, just because I think the paintings are, you know, they are interesting. They're very Minecraft. Like whenever you look at that, you're like, oh, Minecraft, but it's like, it's, I don't know, it, it reminds me of, like, early Minecraft. Like, you know, just it just doesn't fit my vibe, okay? So, I like to do the item frames instead. Maybe we'll just make, like, five or something. And then that way, we can put just cute things inside of it, like, maybe some little flowers. Like, we'll do some tulips and maybe some daisies, the lilacs. We'll just do a bunch of flowers, maybe some saplings, but lots of flowers. What else? We need a bucket. And a hoe. If that hoe breaks, we'll just make like, you know, a stone one or something. And then we need some carrots and I think that's about it. An 
And I have some carrots up here in the starter house. It is kind of sad whenever you build a storage building, you don't really go to your starter house as often. Because my starter house was my storage building, but now I have one. So there's really no reason for me to go inside of it. But I guess that's kind of how it is with all builds, isn't it, in Minecraft? Like, I haven't been inside that build in forever, or like that build. Well, no, actually we were just in that build. But you know what I mean. Like, you build these builds and then you don't really go inside of them. Like this mushroom cottage, I'm never going to go inside of it. Ever. There's literally no reason to. Except for the mems. Always avoiding that bow, maybe one point, at some point it will despawn. Also, I have not died in this world, which I am very proud about. Um, it's scary to even say that because I'm like, what if I just like die at some random point? Why are there piglins? Like right now, like what if I just die? No. But I have not died and I hope that that lasts for a long time. Like I feel like it's, I'm definitely going to die at some point, right? But like what is my death going to be? Like how am I going to die in this world? Oh, we need to fill this up with water. I am thinking about putting it back here, probably. Um, probably need to get rid of that button. We'll just do it here and it's gonna be so baby i really don't want it to be too big at all we're just adding to the vibes a bit over here hopefully we have enough carrots i feel like we probably don't no we definitely do not but we do have bones and we can bone meal the carrots. around or like a little fence around we need to make some more spruce fences do we have a lantern yes and then i need a leaf and nighttime is here let's see what day we're on we're on day 465. Oh, and it's gonna rain on probably our last day here, working on this little project. Um, let's see, maybe we can do something like this. And then we'll put a little lantern right here. I just like to have I, am, I like to use the stripped spruce logs as some kind of fence. I just think it's kind of cute. Maybe we'll put it over like this. Okay, I like that. Fun, fun. 
And then let's see these item frames now. So I was thinking maybe like this. And isn't that just so cute? It kind of blends in with the wall a little bit, but I just think it's such a nice little touch. I just love it. And then, hmm, I want to put some on this wall somewhere as well. But I'm not sure where. Maybe just like that. And we'll put these two flowers in. And then maybe one more. Where? I want to put one more somewhere. Look how cozy. I want to live here forever. Wait, and you can see the garden. I didn't even think about that, but you can see it. I literally love this mushroom cottage so much. Okay, we'll put the last one here. There we go. Isn't this just absolutely precious? I love this so, so much. I'm so happy with it. All right, I think that we are about done with this build. What do we think? Definitely let me know what you think about it because I'm so happy with it. And it's like literally in a spooky forest. That is so vibey. That's so cute. I just love every little part about this build. I think the garden is so cute and the outside is so cute. Obviously the mushroom ceiling, but the inside probably is my favorite. Just like, don't you wanna live here? Isn't this so fun? Oh, I just love this so much. Anyways, I hope that you all have enjoyed this long play. I hope it has been as cozy and fun for you as it has been for me. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, check out my other long plays if you would like to. I've definitely made a couple. But I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.